Hi everyone, I'm Michelle. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all having a wonderful day so far. So I have some new Amigurumi makes. I have two finished objects and one work in progress and I'm very excited to share them with you guys. Um, I... I think I showed you one of these in the last Yarn Talk video. I decided to make another one and I think I might have messed up on this one because it turned out to be a little bit taller than the last one. So I might have accidentally added like an extra row in there. The thing that I did different on this one though, I decided to just put bobble stitches on so I wouldn't have to go and um, stitch on the arms and the legs after I finished him because that's how the pattern says to do it. It's not like a whole lot of work, but I do prefer to make the bobble stitches because they pop out a little bit more and that way when you're done crocheting him, you don't have to go back and stitch on something else. Um, here's the original one so you could see his arms definitely pop out more with the bobble stitches. It's a little hard to see on the camera but there is a slight difference and then you can see this one's a lot smaller than this one. I don't know what happened. I guess I got distracted because I was watching TV when doing it. Uh, this is a really old Red Heart yarn that I have had in my shelf for a very long time. I think I must have got it at a thrift store or something but it was a brand new skein and um, yeah, it's really pretty. I like it. <laughs> I like it a lot. And I used, I believe these are 10 millimeter safety eyes. I used the end tail when I sewed this on because it ended in pink. So I used that for the cheeks. And the green is a kiwi green. It's this green right here from Craft Smart Yarn and a five millimeter hook for everything. So I'm going to put the, uh, Instagram username for this on my in the description box below because this is a free pattern on Instagram so I'm gonna put the name of the page and on that page is this pattern it's really fun and you just have to sew on a couple pieces just the spikes in the tail and then depending how you do the feet the next thing I'm excited for this one so when was this? <laughs> Probably, I want to say like four months ago. It could be more. Um, I'd believe it if it were actually more. But I think about four months ago, I saw on Caroline's channel, uh, Caroline for the Love of Crochet. I think she changed her name though, for the Love of Crochet and Sewing. I'm pretty sure that's her um, new name, her uh, channel name. So I saw on her channel that she was showing a rhinoceros that she made and it was a super, super cute rhinoceros. I didn't realize, I'm pretty sure she did it in sport weight yarn, which was the yarn that the pattern called for. And it was so cute, like this big. And I love the way that it looked. I'm pretty sure when I saw it on her channel, it wasn't even a finished object. It was a work in progress and I fell in love with it. So I looked up the pattern. It's a paid for pattern on Etsy. I think it's about $5, maybe a little bit more. And I got to work on one right away. I believe I showed them to you guys in like past videos. I might have made three. I recall making a gray one. And I know I made more, but I can't tell you what colors they were. But I had one started in my, because I have a, a tote bag full of works in progress and I'm trying to finish those. I'm allowing myself to work on one new Amigurumi for every two work in progress that I finish. So I had, this is my new one. This is my work in progress. And then I'll, I'll keep showing you guys after. But I decided that um, I had all the pieces already crocheted except for the ears. So I made the ears. Thankfully, I still had this color. It's right here from Big Twist Yarn from Joann's. And I decided to make him a hippo instead of a rhino. I actually already had the two horns already crocheted. 
but I remembered since I had already made three rhinos, I'm pretty sure it was two or three rhinos, I kind of wanted to make this one a hippo instead. So the only thing that I did was um, I did not add the two horns and instead I kind of just made these little nostril pieces and sewed them on. So I really like it. I think it came out so cute. I didn't add a tail. Maybe I should do that though. Um, I don't think I added tails on any of them. In the original rhino pattern, it does have like a flower kind of applique that you can add on like the butt, <laughs> the back end area, which it would be super cute. I'm just hesitant to do that because since I do markets and craft fairs occasionally, I don't know if this, it kind of to me looks like a boy would be fine, you know, happy and gravitate towards this. And I don't want to put a flower and then have it be more seen as a girl toy now. So that's probably the only reason why I might not add the flower. I think I'm going to call it a finished, finished project, except actually I take that back because I think I'm going to add a, a tail a um, really quick little tail on it but it's super super cute and like I was saying <laughs> um Caroline's I it was so much smaller than this one this one is huge compared to hers but um like I said also I think in the pattern they use like a three weight yarn and I don't work with three weight yarns I work with acrylic yarns and five millimeter hooks so this is how he came out really cute but a big, big stuffing eater for sure right here, this belly. And I was tricked because, when, well, not tricked, but I tricked myself. When I saw the pattern originally, I thought the head and the body were all one piece, but you have to sew on the head onto the body. So right here is where I sewed it on. You can see it maybe a little bit better here. So it is quite a bit of sewing. It's the head. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10 if you do the the horns, not counting the nostrils since I added those. 11 for the flower and then 12 because it wants you to do a tail. So 12 pieces to sew on. Again, not including the nostrils. And it's so, so cute. I did use, I think these are 12 millimeter safety eyes on him. He's so so cute. I have a hippopotamus pattern that I made and I've been wanting to make it but um I don't know if I'm going to now since I feel like I just made a hippo but it's really cute and I probably will end up un unwinding the two horns that I made and maybe I'll use that yarn in something else. They were made in this color though so yeah my rhinoceros turned to a hippopotamus. <laughs> I really like that color though. Sometimes it's hard to find things to do in the darker colors. At least I think so anyways. I tend to use my lighter colors a lot more than my darker colors and for some reason I have a lot of dark colors. So my next, um, I guess we'll call it a work in progress, is the frog loving duckling. Please don't let this one scare you. It doesn't have eyes yet. So I want to put on felt eyes. But here he is. Uh, he's still a work in progress because he needs those adorable, adorable eyes. Um, I actually am very, very excited because my sister has started making felt eyes again. I don't know if you happen to have been watching my videos for a couple years you might remember i used to sell on my etsy shop felt eyes that my sister used to make like this was before covid too before it started getting popular to make eyes she was making them before that and i don't know why but she just kind of stopped um, because they were the sleepy eyes and now she kind of started making the like round eyes and they're so so cute so I'm gonna steal a pair <laughs> and well actually she made them for me so I'm gonna use a pair and put them on the duck and I'm gonna ask her if she wants to start selling them because I could put them on my page for her or I don't know if she would want to have her own shop on Etsy for them but this guy you're gonna see him again soon and um, I actually have a video that I recorded when I was making him because 
um like two days ago i was gonna try to like vlog a little bit but it didn't end up working out because i hardly crocheted that day but i'm gonna insert a video that i took okay so my sister just started making felt eyes oh my gosh they're so cute i'm gonna line them up here so i can show them to you i'm so excited I want to use these on like all my bigger amigurumi since I've started making bigger ones. Look how cute! Oh my gosh. I'm going to show you an example. The only thing I have here though, let me go grab it. Okay, so I have two plushies here. This is the frog loving duckling pattern. And then it has these because I'm still needing to sew on the bill and the feet. So I left those in there. And then I have this snowman, which is one of the last patterns that i released um i actually released two different snowman patterns so i don't know if you can tell because i mean the this one still needs the bill so you can't really see the face too well but it's gonna be like that oops let's see okay i'm gonna have to show you this way <laughs> hopefully i place them right look how cute there's not even like a proper face on this duck and it looks so so cute and then say i have this snowman if i were to put these oh my gosh it's adorable <laughs> these might be a little bit too big for this amigurumi but look how the expression changes it's just so cute Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. So I told her to make me a bunch of these if she could. And yeah, she's going to work on those. Um, so there should be more. And then I need to finish working on this frog-loving duckling. So I can put some cute eyes on there. Maybe heart ones. So cute for Valentine's Day. So she has a ton of different ones now. She made some with like little eyelashes and I'll have to show you guys an updated um, clip of the eyes. They're so, so cute. And I'm really excited. So. I still have to put the eyes on him and decide which eyes is going to be so hard. And then I think I'm still going to make the hat. I have a frog loving duckling over there, the original one from my pattern. Let me go grab them so I can show it to you guys. So this is the original one. I've made like four of these because they're really fun to make, but I could never part with the original one. Although it's funny, I have gotten, let's see. I don't have a lot of my original amigurumis, to be honest with you guys. I've taken a lot of them to the markets and stuff, but this one's so cute. It's very, very special, and I feel like um, when I introduced this one to you guys, there was just so much love for it, and I love him so much, too. So for this one, <laughs> which is, you can tell, I used a totally different um, color palette, I'm going to still make the hat and the bag so it still needs a little bit of work but such such a cute pattern uh, but there's that so he still needs a little bit of work that is it <laughs> that is it for crocheting um yeah I have two finished objects and then a work in progress that is really close to being a finished object but I will keep you guys updated with this this guy he'll probably be back on a video soon um I do want to bring up something that I kind of mentioned briefly on the uh, yarn goals for 2023 video. So I mentioned that I'm getting a surgery done at the end of January. So I do want to say that probably for all of February, maybe March as well, I will most likely not be posting any videos. If I do, they're probably going to be like super short videos like from my couch um where i may be showing you guys what i'm currently working on but there's probably not going to be any yarn talk videos or anything um long like these because yeah i'm getting surgery on one of my feet <laughs> on my foot 
and I'm not looking forward to it. I'm honestly pretty nervous about it, but I know I need it. Um, and I'm really blessed to be able to have the opportunity to get the surgery done, but I am, I'm scared. <laughs> I've only had my tonsils removed. That's like the closest that I've gotten to like actual, you know, surgery. So this is big. This is going to be, it, it's scary for sure, but I'm sure it's going to be okay. I'm just, um, I don't like pain. <laughs> I mean, who does? So yeah, I do want to let you guys know that I'm probably going to be on a quick, um, somewhat a small hiatus most likely um yeah there like I said there might be little videos here and there but I'm not gonna put too much pressure on myself to try to record videos because I don't even know if I'm gonna be crocheting a whole lot um it's yeah it's kind of a big surgery so um yeah that's kind of it I'm not going to let that impact the, the goals because I mentioned in that video that I want to do at least, uh, um, at least one video a week, but I think I'm going to kind of just take those months off from like holding myself account accountable to that goal. I'm going to hold myself accountable once I'm fully healed. So that's it for this video there's not too much else to update you guys on i um haven't bought any yarn yet <laughs> but hopefully i will soon and um oh i have a pattern release very very soon the bumblebee dinosaur I'm just about done with it and honestly by the time this video is posted um I'm pretty sure he's gonna be out already so the link will probably be in the description box below and if it's already out it's gonna be discounted for the first week that it's out so super excited for that thank you so much for watching I love you guys and appreciate all your support and yeah I can't wait to see you guys in the next video bye